Baseball is one of the most popular sports in the world. People love it for many reasons. The uniforms, the players, and the gameplay. However, aside from fans, few people really understand the hype behind this sport. In fact, some of them might not even know what baseball actually is. Baseball is a ball sport where two teams play against each other. With a ball, a bat, and gloves, players run across a diamond laid field to touch four white bases. Of course, there is much more to the game than this. If you're interested in learning more about baseball, then continue watching for some baseball facts. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more neat facts to discover the world one click at a time. Number 1. Henry Chadwick is known as the father of baseball. Chadwick is a New York Clippers sports writer who reported baseball games regularly. His dedication paved the way for baseball's rising popularity. While some people will argue about who the real father of baseball is, Chadwick is notably the only writer inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. Number 2. Before the American Civil War, there were two different versions of baseball. One version of the game was from Massachusetts. There, they played baseball with a softball. On the other hand, the New York version played with a hardball. During the Civil War, dispatched soldiers who previously lived in New York taught their version to others. This caused the New York game to become more popular. Number 3. In 1857, the National Association of Baseball Players was founded. The National Association of Baseball Players, or NABBP, is an American organization that governs baseball. It started off with a few clubs in New York City. By 1859, the NABBP comprised clubs from Washington, D.C., Lowell, Massachusetts, Allegheny, Pennsylvania, and Hartford, Connecticut all followed soon after. Number 4. The first official baseball convention happened in 1865. Baseball players and officials gathered together to settle on the rules of the game. They also confirmed the amateur status of baseball players. 91 amateur teams from different cities and states attended the event. Some examples are St. Louis, Tennessee, and Kentucky. Number 5. The oldest baseball field in the world is Labatt Memorial Park. In 1877, Labatt Memorial Park was established in London, Ontario, Canada. This baseball stadium was formerly known as Tecumseh Park until they changed the name in 1936. It has a natural grass field and a seating capacity of 5,200 seats. Number 6. The New York Yankees were the first baseball team to wear numbers. Today, plenty of fans wear their favorite baseball player's jersey as a show of support. However, baseball players didn't always wear their official numbers. The New York Yankees were the first to do so in the 1920s. They wore numbers according to the order of their batting. This is why Babe Ruth wears the number 3. Number 7. During the 20th century, major league teams did not accept African American players. This prejudice against African Americans led to the founding of the Negro Leagues. The Negro Leagues comprised teams made up of African Americans and a few Latin Americans. Number 8. Minor league baseball players are not regularly paid. Unfortunately, minor league players do not get paid during the offseason despite training. However, they receive housing and a small allowance. During the regular season, a minor league baseball player makes around $1,160 to $2,100 per month. A player's salary depends on which level they play at. This means the higher the level, the higher the compensation. Number 9. Baseball used to be a full medal sport in the Olympics. From 1992 to 2008, baseball was a full medal sport many people at the Olympics looked forward to. Unfortunately, the International Olympic Committee voted to remove this sport by 2012. Today, the baseball community continues to appeal to the committee for the return of the game to the Olympics. Number 10. Cuba holds the record for most wins in the Olympics. Back when baseball was still a part of the Olympics, Cuba garnered the most wins for the sport. They hold three gold medals, with a third medal from 2004. With baseball still out of the Olympics, they continue to hold the record to this day. Number 11. The record for the most home runs achieved by one person in a single baseball match is four. Throughout baseball's long history, 
Only 18 players have achieved this feat. Bobby Lowe was the first to do so in 1894. On the other hand, the most recent player to achieve this is J.D. Martinez. Number 12. Baseball players call a part of the baseball bat the sweet spot. The sweet spot is a specific section of the baseball bat that, when hit, increases the chances of a player scoring a home run. This section is around 5 to 7 inches from the barrel end of the bat. A satisfying crack sound and less vibration are the signs that the player hit the so-called sweet spot. Number 13. The Major League Baseball season happens from April to September. However, the postseason can run up to early November. During this time, a total of 162 baseball games are played. Number 14. There are eight original Major League Baseball teams. These MLB teams are the Philadelphia Athletics, St. Louis Brown Stockings, Hartford Dark Blues, Louisville Grays, Mutual of New York, Atlanta Braves, Cincinnati Red Stockings, and Chicago Cubs. Number 15. In 1903, the first World Series took place. The winners of the National League and American League competed against each other in a best-of-nine series. In 1905, the games were changed to a best-of-seven series instead. Number 16. A baseball scandal concerning the Chicago White Sox shook the community in 1919. People accused eight players of the Chicago White Sox of intentionally losing at the World Series. Because of this, they called them the Black Sox. These players were then banned from playing professional baseball for life. Number 17. On average, a single baseball game lasts three hours long. Some baseball games can go a few minutes over that. During the regular season in 2019, the average record for baseball games lasted for three hours, five minutes, and 35 seconds. Number 18. The fastest recorded professional baseball game lasted for 31 minutes. On August 30, 1916, the Winston-Salem Twins played a match against the Asheville Tourists in Asheville, North Carolina. They won the game at 2 to 1. Number 19. In the Major League games, the fastest recorded game was 51 minutes. On September 28, 1919, the New York Giants and Philadelphia Phillies played against each other at the Polo Grounds. After a short match, the New York Giants beat the Philadelphia Phillies with a score of 6 to 1. Number 20. When it comes to the longest Major League game, the record was 8 hours and 6 minutes. The Chicago White Sox and Milwaukee Brewers competed in a two-day game at Comiskey Park. Their match began on May 8, 1984. At the end of the first day, they tied with a score of 3-3 after 17 innings. The next day, they played for 25 innings. However, neither team scored and they eventually ended the match with a tie. Number 21. The smallest recorded audience at a baseball game was 347 attendees. In 2011, Hurricane Irene swept through the east coast of the United States. Because of this, only a few could watch the game between the Florida Marlins and the Cincinnati Reds. Number 22. A major league player was once killed by a pitched ball. This tragedy happened on August 16, 1920. Yankee pitcher Carl Mays threw a ball that hit Ray Chapman of the Cleveland Indians. Unfortunately, it was a fatal hit on the head, and Chapman passed away 12 hours after. Number 23. One of the worst injuries a baseball pitcher can get is the labrum tear. This results from a tear on the cartilage between the upper arm and shoulder socket. Surgery is usually required for the player to fully heal, but there is no guarantee that pitchers can keep playing after that. Number 24. The fastest baseball pitch ever thrown had a speed of 105.1 miles per hour. On September 24, 2010, a Roldis Chapman from the Cincinnati Reds threw the fastest pitch ever. This happened during a match between the Cincinnati Reds and the San Diego Padres at Petco Park in California. Number 25. The last left-handed catcher who played in the big leagues was Benny DiStefano. Benny DiStefano is a player for the Pittsburgh Pirates. In 1989, he caught the ball in three games. There are very few left-handed players who can do this. Number 26. 
since then, no left-handed throwers have played catcher in Major League Baseball. Left-handed catchers are disadvantaged because most hitters are right-handed. This makes it difficult for them to throw to third base. Number 27. In the 1990s, the sale of baseball cards was at its peak. Back then, fans avidly collected their favorite teams and players' cards. Tops, Upper Deck, Clear, Donruss, and Score produced these baseball cards. To this day, plenty of companies continue to sell these cards and other types of merchandise. Number 28. The most expensive baseball card ever features Honus Wagner. Some cards are limited edition, and Honus Wagner's card was one of them. The American Tobacco Company produced this card, which was included in cigarette packs. However, the company halted production after Wagner asked them to. Thus, only 25 to 200 of these cards exist. One of them sold for $2.8 million in 2005. At another auction in 2016, it sold for a whopping $3.12 million. Number 29. Autographed baseballs often get auctioned off as well. In 1961, legendary player Joe DiMaggio and then-wife film star Marilyn Monroe signed a baseball. On May 5, 2006, the Heritage Auction Gallery sold it for $191,000. It is the most expensive autographed baseball ever sold. Number 30. The first and only woman inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame is Effa Manley. Effa Louise Manley is an American sports executive who owned the Newark Eagles alongside her husband. She was to both baseball and civil rights. She helped give a voice to Negro Leagues baseball undeterred by the prejudice of a male-dominated industry against herself. Baseball is a sport with a long history. No doubt with the baseball community continuously growing strong, the game has an even longer future. It's an excellent sport to pick up, whether as a hobby or a serious profession. Just be sure to be careful and stay safe. That way you can be there as baseball continues to grow and develop with the times. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more facts videos.